this is how you can create a guild template using your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started so we can start by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and do create template.js we're gonna get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder we can get our action row builder we're gonna get our button builder we can also get our button style and we're gonna get component type and then we can do equals require and we're gonna go ahead and get discord.js then we can do const axios equals require and we're gonna go ahead and get our axios package as well then after doing that we can do our module.exports and we're going to go ahead and open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder and go ahead and start off by setting a name which is going to be create template and we can go ahead and set a description here we're going to go ahead and say create a template for this guild and we can go ahead and add a string option and we're going to do option arrow function option that set name this is going to be our name and we can go ahead and set a description we can say the name of the template and we're going to go ahead and set required to true then we can go ahead and add one more string option and we're going to do option error function option that set name this is going to be our description and then we can actually go ahead and set a description here this is going to be the description of the template and we're going to go ahead and set required to true as well then we can go in and add a comma and we're going to do async executes so we can go in and get our interaction and we can open this up here we're going to start by getting our options and we can set that equal to our interaction then we can go ahead and get our variables so we can do const name equals options that get string and that is going to be our name string and we can do the exact same thing for our our description here so we can do options that get string and that is going to be our description string just like that next we're going to go and make a quick permissions check here so we can do if we can do no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can get our permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator then we can just go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to use this command and we're going to go ahead and set informal on that message to true then we're going to go ahead and create a template so we can do const templates equals await axios.post and we're going to go ahead and get our discord api uh, you could do this with discord.js but i'm just going to use the api for this directly we're going to get this link here so the api link using the guilds the interaction.guild.id and your template and then you can actually go ahead and open this up here in here we're going to get our name which is going to be our name we can get our description which is going to be our description then we can get our headers and we're going to go ahead and open this up as well for this you're going to need your bot token so you can go ahead and get that from the .env and you're also going to get your content type which is going to be application slash json then after doing that we have to go ahead and catch an error here and we're just going to go ahead and return and do nothing because we're going to actually handle that error in just a second down below so then we can actually do that so we're going to say if no templates then we can go in and return await interaction dot reply and we're going to say contents and we can say there is already an existing template and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true as well just like that next we're going to go and create our button and embed so we can do const button equals new action row builder we're going to go ahead and add some components which is going to be our new button builder we're going to go ahead and do set style it's going to be our button style dot primary and we can go ahead and set a label and this can be our sync template and i'm just going to go ahead and get an emoji as well then we can go ahead and set a custom id we're going to use this later we can get our template button and just like that so then after doing that we're going to go ahead and create our embed so we can get our new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color i'm going to go ahead and make this blurple then we can go ahead and set a description here i'm going to go ahead and actually get an emoji and we can go ahead and say here is your template and then we can go ahead and do https we can go ahead and get a link we're going to get discord.new and we can get our template.data.code so basically going to go in and create that template link there because the template object only gives you the code it doesn't actually give you a link so you have to piece that together basically and we're actually going to go and send this so we can do const msg equals await interaction or apply and get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we're going to get our components which is going to be our button and lastly we're going to go ahead and set informal to true on that so then after doing that we're going to go in and do const collector equals new msg.create message component selector and we're going to go ahead and get our component type and that is going to be our component type and we can do dot button then we're going to go ahead and get our collector dot on and we can do collect and we're going to go ahead and do async i and we can go ahead and open this up and here we can just start off by saying if and we can do i dot custom id is equal to 
and we're gonna get our button custom ID. So this is gonna be template button. And we can actually go in and open this up. We're gonna start off by saying const sync equals wait axios put this time, not post. We're gonna use put. And we're gonna get a new Discord API link this time. It's gonna look pretty much like this. So it's gonna be the API link. And then you're gonna get your guild ID templates and you're gonna get that template code. We can actually go and open this up and we do have to get our headers. So we can add a comma here. We're gonna get our headers and the only header we need here is our authorization. We can just put that header in there. And then after getting that, we can go ahead and do embed.set description. So we're gonna go ahead and modify the description of this embed. And it's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing as before. But this time, instead of using the template.data.code, we're gonna use the sync.data.code. So just a little bit different. We're basically editing the new synced code into that embed uh, once we press the sync button. Then we can go ahead and do await msg.edit. We can get our embeds and we're gonna get our embed and we can get our components. And this is going to be our button component. So then after doing that, we can actually go ahead and do await i.reply and we can go ahead and get content and I'm gonna get a upward facing emoji here so it's gonna look like this and we can go ahead and say your template is synced the new link is above and I'm gonna go ahead and set infermal to true on that reply to the button as well so then after doing that we are actually done with this part of it uh, we're just gonna say else and we're gonna return as well just to handle that and then finally we just have to come down here and set a timeout and we can do an async timeout so we can use await in here and we can do collector on and we're gonna get end and we can just do async collected and we can just go ahead and open it up like that and then we can do await msg.edit and we're gonna get our embeds and we can get our embed and we're gonna get our components and we're just gonna leave that empty so once this time is up, we're basically gonna end the collector and edit the button out of the message so that we don't have to handle the button interaction forever. Uh, especially considering that it's an infernal message, so it will go away eventually. And the other thing we should probably do is catch an error because it is an infernal message. So if they do close it out before this timeout ends, we just wanna go ahead and return and do nothing because we can't edit a message that does not exist. So finally, we're gonna go ahead and set the timeout time. So I'm gonna do five minutes, which is this specific number here. Uh, this is in milliseconds, by the way. So if you'd like to search uh, a different time up in milliseconds or do that calculation on your own, you can go ahead and do that. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire command. One thing that I did mess up is I put new here. Just go ahead and remove that. That's actually all you have to do. The last thing that you need to change is under the sync category here, you actually have to add headers and then add a colon like that. So it should look exactly like this for the sync. If you don't do that, this will not work. The other thing we should do is catch an error here and we can just go ahead and leave that blank. It's very unlikely that we're gonna even have an error to begin with, um, but we're just gonna go ahead and catch it and if these messages have to be undefined, then they will be. We're not gonna handle it anywhere else. So after you do those changes and complete this code, we can go in and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, we can actually go in and test this command out. And we're just gonna go ahead and give it a name and a description. It doesn't really matter. And as you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and create our new template. So if we were to go ahead and open this up here, we're gonna get all of the channels and all of the roles. Now let's say we go ahead and try to mess this up. We go ahead and try to throw the template out of sync. Now, if we go ahead and sync the template using this button, we're gonna get a new link. Actually, it's technically the same link, but if we were to go ahead and copy that link and view the template this time, as you can see, now we have the sync channel within this category here. So we made that edit and it actually went ahead and changed it within the template. If we went ahead and deleted it and we went ahead and press the sync button here, as you can see it now, the sync channel is gone. Now keep in mind, it doesn't happen instantly. You might have to reload your cache by going into a different channel and then clicking view template. But once you do that, it will remove it from this template as well. Now we're gonna actually go ahead and pay attention to this message because after five minutes, this button is going to edit out and it will just remain the normal embed with the original template code without the button. And as you can see there, the button was edited out of the message, the collector ended, and now all we have left is the original embed with the original or synced possible link uh, right here. So that's how you can make an advanced create template and sync template command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.